Robin? No, this is a bad signal, not a Robin signal. Get out of here. So it seems like James Gunn hates Batman, and not any Batman, two particular Batman in general. Christian Bale's Batman and Michael Keaton's Batman, which is crazy. These are the Batman that we do love. Everyone has universal praise for these actors playing these characters, their performances as Bruce Wayne. So it's crazy it's for these old tweets from James Gunn kind of criticizing both of these movies. And I'm going to talk about them. I'm going to give you my perspective, whether it's fair uh, James Gunn's criticism of those movies because I think he makes some good points but he does make some bad points as well specifically when it comes to the Christian Bale Batman but regardless of what you say many people are gonna disagree with him because we all love these movies for what they were at the time specifically Michael Keaton's 1989 Batman I know it was different Tim Burton had a different vision and he strayed away from some of the comic accurate versions of Batman but he created something that we haven't seen before something that was closer to some of the darker versions of Batman so that's why people appreciate it and especially when it comes down to Christopher Nolan I don't know how you can criticize Christopher Nolan his version of Batman I think everyone loves that version of Batman whether he was just the realism the gritty realism of Christian Bale himself his performance as Bruce Wayne straddling that balance between insanity I think his version of Batman was amazing so to see James Gunn the head of DCU who's trying to command these movie properties it's crazy to hear him really criticize these characters for what they were we love them we love michael keaton we love the version that we saw from tim burton for regardless of the canon breaking events like joker being the killer of batman's parents but regardless we love that batman he criticizes even the joker jack nicholson's joker who was amazing everyone universally praises that joker so it's wild to hear him belittle these versions of batman but of course it was a long time ago where he was never he never even imagined being a person controlling DC comics and just the, the direction of the movies in general so he had appointed criticism for these projects but I'll read his particular quotes you be the judge of what you think he's saying I will give you my perspective as well let's get into it give me a second and here we go Keaton did have a ridiculous voice that said I'd rather put up with a ridiculous voice than with a horrible action sequences and acting barely worthy of a Batman TV show I think he's talking about Keaton in the Tim Burton version I have no idea how you can think that the Burton Batman has more similarities with more Miller's Batman and Joker than Nolan does and listen I have problems with both Nolan films I don't think either one is classic oh so he's saying Dark Knight is not classic which is so absurd to hear that nowadays but this is coming from James Gunn earlier when these movies came out so maybe he's talking about just Tim Burton's version and Batman Begins then I can understand him saying that's not classic even though I think 1989 Tim Burton is classic but for his comic book reasons I can see where he says that and I can see where he says Batman Begins is not a pure classic it's still a great film but if he's talking about Dark Knight that is out of bounds I have to completely disagree with him so let me go over it again to make sure what he's saying with more Millars and then Nolan does and listen I have problems with both Nolan films so he both Nolan films includes Dark Knight so he's out of this mind I have to completely disagree with James Gunn he's crazy Dark Knight is one of the best films ever made in general not including comic book movies so I don't know what he's going on about if he thinks he can make something better I highly doubt that I don't think either one is classic I don't even really think Batman Begins is good but they're superior to the first Batman none of your defenses get by that fact despite being the first cinematic dark take on Batman so what Stallone's Judge Dredd was the first dark take on Judge Dredd the movie was awful okay he's very he's not holding back oh yeah Jack Nicholson as Joker is Jack Nicholson in The Shining with the bad clown makeup F you everyone involved with that travesty so he really dislikes uh, the entirety of that movie and I, I have to disagree uh, Jack Nicholson's version of Joker was amazing people loved it he added his own version of it and I think he, he took it to places that people didn't expect it to be taken it hadn't been taken until Jack Nicholson took the role so let's continue what he has to say the Tim Burton Batman is poorly written the soundtrack is the worst work of everyone involved the Prince soundtrack is the worst of work of everyone involved then he has bad taste in music that's all I have to say about that now 
and it's absolutely one of the most boring films ever. Not only that, but the reveal of Joker as the killer of Bruce Wayne's parents spits in the face of Batman's origin and is a nullification of the bottomless thirst for vengeance that necessarily drives Batman. Pretends not to be campy, but is completely so, and on top of everything, the dark creature of the night can't even move his effing neck. Give me an effing break. It's ridiculous, awful. Burton's Planet of the Apes is genius in comparison. And this is him completely trashing all of the Tim Burton, Batman in general. And I see where he's coming from, but that doesn't negate its classicness to the majority of the audience. And I think he's out of line, out of bounds with his complete takedown. And I know the neck thing, everyone has complaints about the neck thing, but it's just so classic and so it, it, it's creating its own world. And I think that's the main thing with Tim Burton and his Batman. You really believe that was Gotham City, that was its own world, that it had its own just essence to it and you just enjoyed it, especially the Joker in it. I can't believe he's just it's smashing this joker everyone loves this joker and i wonder how he would make joker and if i can't really even agree to anything he says until he makes his own version of joker and if that joker is trash i'm gonna trash him for it you have to disagree with everything he says here he's out of his mind specifically when he comes down to the christian bell and christopher nolan's just batman his trashing of dark knight one of the best films ever made and maybe he has the perspective now to realize dark knight is a classic film but back then, he was obviously just had no understanding of the movies he was watching. I could agree with some of the stuff when he talks about the comic books that are comic breaking, specifically when it comes down to just the Joker being part of the origins of Batman himself. I understand that's a bad part of the film itself, but I think back then we were willing to make compromises because we were hard to hard pressed to ever find any of these comic book films to come out. So plus it was well made enough where we believe that was Gotham City. We had the Joker that we wanted. We had the Batman that we wanted and it made sense. And we had the ambiance and atmosphere of Gotham that we always wanted. I think those made up for the comic breaking events or some of the discrepancies between the character characterizations of Batman and the Jokers. I think it was good enough. I think Batman Begins and Dark Knight, even though I know people, some people don't really see Batman Begins as a classic, I, I can't see any way where you say that Batman Begins is a bad movie. And I think it's a good representation of at least Bruce Wayne and him and himself. I like how they characterize him, Christopher Nolan built him in this world. You have that year one vibe to it, which I don't think can be matched from this and i have to go with the, anything against dark knight trilogy dark knight in general with the heath leather joker and just just that that creation of that movie i'm just i can't even listen to any of your ideas on comic book movies which makes me surprised he was able to produce good comic book movies with the guardians the galaxy trilogy which is shouldn't be a surprise because those are such obscure characters where he could have built something out of nothing and no one would have any reflection on what the original characters were about so i think he had freedom to do that but now he's in a place where he's not gonna have the freedom to to create as he wants with superman and that's maybe why he's bringing all these small weird characters like creature commandos the authority because he knows he can modify and build around those characters but that's not going to work when people are coming to see a Superman movie. If people come to see a Superman movie and Superman is only in it for 20 minutes and we're seeing 30 minutes of the Creature Commandos and 20 minutes of the Authority, people are going to be mad and not even more than mad, people are not going to show up, which is bad for the DCU as is. And I think it's a bad situation in general where we're having this conversation where another person just doesn't believe in the, just the creative works that come before him. And I, I think that's a bad sign for the future of the DCU. I hope James Gunn is going to produce a good movie. I think he still has the talent to produce a good movie, but this kind of reduces my expectations from him a little bit where he's disrespecting these films. But then again, it's a long time ago. This was like 11 years ago on Facebook. People can change their mind, especially when it comes to movies. So we can't really hold it against them that he said this. Maybe at that time, he really felt that way. I remember coming out of Batman Begins and thinking like, it's okay. But after a few years, I thought it was an amazing movie. Of course, Dark Knight Trilogy, I don't know who came out of that and thought it was bad. But he apparently was one of the few people that thought it was bad. So I have no idea what to think about that. But tell me what you think about James Gunn comments. Do you think he's, he was out of line? Do you think he was truthful, that he was right? I've seen some people on Twitter that believe him and think he had the right perspective on it. I, I don't see it. I don't believe it. 
but leave your comments if you agree with them this is wagner knows why catch you next time